welcome everybody to Brew Review University. I am your host Jennifer along with my part-time co-host Donnie. <laughs> and part-time. before we <laughs> I heard that. I heard I heard what you said. I was just trying to fly right through that. But anyways, <laughs> before we can get started, here is Donnie with his disclaimer. Kids, if you are under 21 years of age or not of drinking age, this show is not for you. It is time to turn this stuff off. So, as what? I get into, no, as what I get into in this session? one. session? I can talk louder than you or you want to keep that going up, mister. Well, but anyways, so as you can see on this episode, we do have a third wheel over here. We have a special guest for our Average Joe series. So, we want to welcome Garrett. Yes. <laughs> Average Joe. Average Joe, yes. Garrett has is willing to come on and try some brand new beers that he has I was not threatened. tried. <laughs> threatened. I'm here was it my by wolf. me? <laughs> no, are you guys okay? Should I call the police? I just <laughs> offered free beers. I don't know how that's threatened. Right. But yes, we'll uh... <laughs> Free beer? I thought free beer was a good thing. Free beer is always a good thing. Especially when you come to our house, because there's a shitload of free beer yes. around here. I hear, I hear you have a problem with uh, somebody stop at Snake River. Speaking of free beer, <laughs> yeah, there's a, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to do that. We have to fix that. Pops, if you're listening, if you're watching, yeah, we're we'll have a conversation later. You have to stop back at, uh, in Wyoming for me, <laughs> <laughs> or I'm gonna jump in your truck. Either way, it's happening. But so what, what you got first for him? What are, What are you? You know. We did a pre-interview. We did. We did do a pre-interview, and one of the things you mentioned oh, that... Uh, I, I say a lot of things, but I don't know what I mentioned. <laughs> this is, this is going to get scary really quick. One of the things you mentioned that uh, it kind of... Okay, well, we'll see about that. Okay. So I, 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 I thought, I thought to myself, what can we give him that in our pre-interview that he mentioned... I really don't like. <laughs> oh. So tell Lovely. me. So tell me what 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 beers do you really not like? Sours. <laughs> it's in the title. <laughs> like, how is that even a beer? Hey, well, you know, I can tell you that sours, especially throughout this pandemic and through now, have really just blossomed throughout yeah. the beer community. Because everybody's and, in pain. I just want to just <laughs> enjoy pain. Maybe. If it's a high ABV sour, maybe you just want to forget. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Let's do but it. But I can tell you that the sour, everybody is making a sour these days. Like literally everybody's making a sour or some sort of version of sour, whether it be a kettle sour. And we have a lot of people doing fruited burliners, which are fantastic, very Heavy body, kind okay. of you know, just kind of fruity, what hard, have you. Hard seltzers too are coming out. Hard seltzers are yeah. are really starting to take. Have you had any hard seltzers? I have. And what do uh, you think? The hangover hurts. <laughs> um, Sours are better than hard seltzers. I think it's because you drink seltzers a little faster than you drink beer. Seltzers are definitely good for the summertime. Yeah, it's a summertime drink. Which, yes, can be dangerous because you don't taste the alcohol. At first glance, this does look pretty. <laughs> and I did say that correctly with a D. Purdy is so purdy. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, Dragon Fandango. And basically... I like the name already. I'm just going to go off the top and then you can tell me all your stuff and learn me something good. Dragon Fandango, uh, one of the, the brewery is out of Decorah, Iowa... Um, and we, we love Toppling Goliath. They've done a lot of special beers that we like. Um, this particular one is a kettle sour. Okay. So even though you say you don't like kettle sours, that's okay. We're going to give it to you anyway, so you can try it to see what you think. But I will tell you that in the beer world, this is also citra hopped. It's actually citra hopped. Okay. So you're going to actually get... A, a citra hop in it, which is a lot of what they use in a lot of IPAs. Okay. So you're going to get a little bit different version of the sour 
that uh, you know you may be looking at. One of the things with this too is this is a 4.2 ABV and also a 10 IBU. So the IBU, the bitterness unit, is going to be very, very low. So this has got 22,400 check-ins. Jesus. Okay. And still rates a 4.24. Out of five. So there's that many idiots in the world? Okay, here we go. Let's try this. See, there's a lot of sour lovers All right, there. let's do yeah. this. Okay. What do, you, what do you think off the top? It's pretty. <laughs> uh, that's number one. It smells fruity. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Not bad. So, when you say not bad, I'd be willing to take another sip. And that's that's a good thing. And and I'll tell you why because this this one is definitely meets a lot of palates. It definitely does meet a lot of palates. You get that citra in it and definitely fruity but not too sour. Tastes like an unripe orange. Unripe orange. Hmm. Or a warhead that doesn't get sweet. <laughs> Not did, bad. We did a warhead show, and that was an interesting show. So, but anyway. It's yeah, a that's... summer drink. It's definitely a summer. Yeah. Hot day. Yeah. I think that would go down a lot smoother. But then again, I say all my sours are for hot days, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> When you, Looks like Kool Aid. When you see me pass that outside, I'll be at the fire pit. Great name, Dragon Fandango. So I'm gonna pass that over there on that side. Excuse me. Toppling has always been <laughs> nice to us, so we like. Let's put it on that we side. We like toppling. Cans kind of kick ass. I'll give him that. <laughs> I'm I'm glad you didn't say oh I can't drink this at all yeah, I can't you know uh, you know uh, this is just a no go I can't do this sour at all because I that was our pre interview we caught yeah. you and said okay I just can't do that no that, that was again tasty. that was that was good you a know sa- for a sour that was good I'll give it that yeah so anyway that's that being said we're gonna move on to our next beer we're gonna go on to North Park Beer Company uh, this is called Party Cup. Which party cup is a mosaic, mosaic lager. Uh, most of you who have watched the show know Jen has her little party cup. You, you used to see her red solo cup oh, up here yeah, all the time. To, but see, I got fancy and I this glass now <laughs> with my apple juice. Pinky out. You used to see her red solo cup. Yeah. Now you, you don't see that anymore. She just doesn't hide it anymore. I'll put it that way. <laughs> hey, there's no shame in using the red solo cup. But if I had known you were having that beer, I had my party cup shirt upstairs. I would have put that shirt on. So. It's got a little champagne look at it. So, this party cup here, um, as you can see, is very, very light. Um, a lot of times, what I like to do with this is I like to make a black and tan. Um, just to throw it on top and just to make it kind of in between, nice and mm-hmm. nice and uh, heavy, but yet that nice light body toward the end of it. So anyway, this is a 5.0 APV, 6 IBU. So very, very light in the IBU. But you, I can tell you, I had this before. It's a light mosaic, which is nice. Smells this good. has... 1,500 check-ins and rates a 3.91. The reason they call this uh, mosaic lager is because it's mosaic, mosaic incognito, and mosaic cryo. So, anyway, let's uh, let's let's throw this up there real quick. And uh, off the top is a tropical, Piney. a tropical pine, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but it definitely has the body of a lager for sure. Nice and simple. But yet a nice light hop to it. Very tasty. Very nice light hop to it. I like 
like the lightness of it, but I, it's just not my style. That is, uh... I think simple comes to mind on that. Well, I guess because I'm going from Dragon Fandango to this, this is super simple compared to that, which <laughs> obviously makes more sense. Uh, but yeah, this is good. And it seems so clean. And and just clean and light. Mm-hmm. Just out of the two, I mean, just out of the two you've had so far, I mean, what are you thinking? You know, if you're somewhere and somebody says, "I'll have a Dragon Fandango" or "I'll have the Party Cup," what are you what are you doing? Party cup. But you're doing party cup. It's not fair to ask because you have one on this side and one on this side. Well, and that's that's the thing. You know, we we talk they're about the, they're not the same. Average Joe. So, what beer is it that you normally drink on a regular basis? I'm a blonde drinker. Okay, so that tells me a lot as to why you chose the party cup. Uh, yeah. So, but yeah, this is like Lionel Richie. He's like Sunday morning. This is fantastic. <laughs> nice. That's that's a great explanation too, because that does make a lot of sense for sure. Mm, that was good, and it's got so. a great name, Party Cup. <laughs> Everybody's down for a party cup. Oh, everybody. <laughs> It could be red or blue because, you know, they have all the different colors these days. <laughs> yes. So, we're going to take you Uh-oh. up north, northern California, Santa Rosa, California, to a place called Russian River. Down. Let's do it. Have you ever had Russian River? I have not. Okay. So, we're going we're gonna to bring you into something called It Takes a Lot of Great Beer to make great wine from Russian River. Nice. Okay, this is kind of a kind of a hazyish slash IPA. But um we're going to let you decide what you get out of it. And uh it's considered a pale ale. Pour that there. This is a 5.25 ABV, which is your alcohol by volume. The I'm gonna do that one for I was myself. Say, why are you filling it up all for me? <laughs> the IBU is unavailable, and the check-ins on this one are 5,400, and it rates a 3.70 on Untapped. Now. That being said, I've had this before, and uh, one, it's it's not very easy to get. I can tell you that right off the bat. So if you're gonna if you're gonna try to go search for this right now, you're not gonna find it. <laughs> you're not gonna just like the Dragon Fandango don't right like now. This. Don't like this. Don't like this. <laughs> yeah. Okay, go on. You're not gonna find the Dragon Fandango right now either. If if maybe I, if you're in cool. in in uh, <laughs> Iowa, okay, cool. You 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 may find. What about it. the party cup? Party cup. Uh, yeah. As a matter of fact, if you head down to San Diego, which is not too far from us, you can you can go down. You can definitely find the uh, party cup for you, sure. You can get party cups in San Diego. Good yes. Know. Yes. So anyway, we'll uh, we'll do this. We'll set this over here, and uh, tell me what you get off the top. It smells good, and I'm scared because <laughs> if I can't get this without going up north, six and six and well, hours or so. I'll tell I'll you what. Irritated. I'll tell you what. Right now, you probably do want to go up north because Russian River just released Pliny the Younger, and if you can get in there to have Pliny the Younger, by all means. Do it because that is the that's the holy grail right now of beer, mm. according to Untapped, according to a lot of people. So, right. anyway, let's do this. Damn! <laughs> Why do I have to like it? <laughs> that's good. That's tasty. Yeah, absolutely. Um, kind of, it has kind of a little floral hit to it, but uh, you get a little bit of hazy and a little bit of the uh, a little bit of the piney bitterness to it also. Yeah, you're like I'm waiting for the bite. 
right? And you don't get it. Yeah, the invite. Yeah, yeah the and invite. Just, just smooth landing. Yeah. And, I, oh, man, and I've cool. actually never had that, and I could actually drink that. Yeah. Because you see, mine's gone, but I mean, I had a little... I'm trying to savor it. I'm, I can't I get another one of these half... probably until I come back I mean, to the I house. Can, so, I can pour uh, some more in still, there. Still, still your this, beer. <laughs> <laughs> so, most people who haven't been here to Brewery University, when they see our beer fridge and where we store our beer, they say they're going to steal our beer. And, and that's... We hear it all the time, and... Uh, you're not going to make it. Trust me. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Well, well, wait a second. Because you say it's our beer fridge. Your beer fridge is in the garage. So that's your beer fridge. My beer <laughs> fridge has like four beers right now. No that's how sad, that's how sad my beer fridge is. It's like four. But I'm trying to cut back. But let me get this straight. So <laughs> Dragon Fandango had what? 4.1? You said it was a rating on that? Dragon Fandango, uh, that rated high. that rated at four point two four. And that was what? And what the uh, one we just had, the good beer. This for Russian whatever. River rated at three point seven zero on Untapped. Yeah, people were just wrong. That was okay, fantastic. but here's the thing though. Here's the thing though. On on Untapped, Russian River, the it takes great beer to make great wine has five thousand four check ins. Mm-hmm. Five thousand four hundred check ins. Now, when you look at the Toppling Goliath, you're looking at 22,400 check-ins. Mm. So there is a, a huge gap in there to where it makes it's a huge difference. But and you have a lot of high, high ratings in that variation. So, yeah. And keep in mind that this is a little bit easier to get than the Russian River. Fair. That's fair. You know, the Russian River, this is, um, Toppling Goliath is released in 30 states in the United States. Mm. To where Russian River, I'm not exactly how many sh- how many states can get this, but it's very limited. Mm. And, probably want to change their name. I think Russian, is probably want to remove that from their name <laughs> at this current time, given what's going on in the world, but it is fantastic beer. Yeah, that is... Um, I think it's great beer too. I I I love this. It's uh, if I say I liked it, then yes, you mm-hmm. want you want to try it. Cause yeah. she, like I said, I don't drink those kind of beers. And yeah, so, I liked it. Yeah, she's so. not usually this type of this type yeah, of beer drinker. Because he doesn't share. Now I know why he doesn't Shame share his beer. Me. So you know what? I don't think I'm going to share my beers. Guess what? It's only when fair. I steal your your fridge, yeah, guess who's his. helping me? <laughs> yeah, she's the she's I'm gonna open say, the garage. I'm yeah. gonna say he loves this one. Uh-huh. He loves this one. Oh, this is his favorite. Take them. Uh-huh. They're yours, free. <laughs> there are so many security things that you need to get around before you can do that. No. It'll be an inside job. She's done it all really the answers. Inside yeah. job. So we will help us out. <laughs> <laughs> so. We come to our last beer. Ooh, and it's a good one. This is definitely a good one, and we we especially brought this one in just because we knew mm-hmm. that uh, one you were coming in. Oh, is it special for me? And <laughs> two that we thought he's gonna absolutely love this. Okay. Now, the availability of this one. <laughs> oh, here we go. You can still get it. But you're gonna have to be very specific as to where you go. Yeah. I can we can tell you where to go, and that is Smart Time Liquor. Smart Time Liquor, Grand and Terrace. that is in Grand Terrace. Okay. Uh, yeah. See Freddie. Ask him about this beer. He'll tell you all about it. Um, also from, uh, yeah. I mean, just. I haven't seen it anywhere else other than yeah. there. Yeah. Um, I'm not always at the liquor store. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like somebody else. <laughs> So, <laughs> Don is going into liquor stores like Cheers. Everyone's like, hey, he's back. <laughs> it's going to spill. It's going to spill. Ooh, you're lucky. It does look nice. Yeah, when they when they tell you right off the bat, mm-hmm. hey, we got this or we got this, they kind of know who you are. <laughs> I'm sure they have you on speed dial. <laughs> That. So, this beer here is called Big Chromatic Energy. Mm, that's a bad name. <laughs> Go on. 
So, it's from Urban South. They're out of Houston, Texas, and local craft beer out of Tehachapi, California. Now, this is a hazy triple IPA. So, whew, you got to really be careful and stuff like this because this is a 10 ABV. The IBU is not stated, but this is a 4.14 on untapped. So, would I grade it at 4.14? No, I actually graded this a 4.50. I know, I was mm. just going to look to see what I graded this one. Yeah, this is actually one of my favorite slash hazy IPAs. Just outstanding. You don't. You don't get any of the the bitterness in it, and it's just so smooth. You know, it's it's one of those beers where very dangerous. I mean, very dangerous. Um, just before I, I guess I shouldn't say what I graded it because again, it's not my kind of beer. But oh, you can't just say that and not say what you rated. Okay, well, I I only gave it a three point seven five, which. Is kind of a high for me. I think for the audience, does the audience know what your kind of beer is? Well, my beers are sour, so. Oh. Well, but and to that's, rate this a three point seven five. Just when I started to like you, that's, that's pretty the high. Thing, I know. When you said sours on the phone, I was like, "Can we get somebody else, please?" <laughs> <laughs> so that's the thing, though, too, is Jen doesn't normally rate hazies or ipas very high yeah. so that being said this is this That's, is actually very good this you is know, pretty for, high. for her but um i can't say that you know this is um well let's just try it yeah. let's see what yeah. people think you know that. it's a sipping beer remember that it's a sipping beer i'll be chugging it oh no that's good <laughs> <laughs> and it's not a sipping beer it's called drinking not sipping by the way <laughs> well you drink it fast, mm. then you're gonna be on the This floor is after. a that is fantastic. This that is, is a, good. This is a melony. It tastes like a little like a melon type. Oh, I thought you were calling it melony. I'm like, this is definitely not a melon. <laughs> <laughs> you get that melon hit to it. Just try it. Try it again. See if you get a melon hit to it. Um, a little bit. Yeah, that's, that's very creamy. Yeah, definitely very creamy, you know. In a good way. Yeah, this is, this is, um, being a 10 ABV. I thought it was a sipping beer. You already finished it. Yeah, you took it. I know, and I still have an episode to record. Being a 10 ABV, you wouldn't, you wouldn't Mm -hmm. think this is a 10 ABV at all. No. This is, it's, it's truly almost crushable. Like, you would think it was crushable, but you, I'll tell you what, you crush two of these in a row. You're going to be on your ass. Yeah. I'll tell you that. Oh, you know. man. You'll be down for the count. <laughs> Two and done. makes bad dancers try to dance. This is good stuff right here. Mm. Yeah. Man. So. I'm glad you didn't start with this because that would have been everything downhill. After that. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, and that's what we try to do. You know, we, we brought you the sour first. To yeah. one, get you to have a different opinion about mm-hmm. sours, you know, and Fair. and yeah, but you do have a different opinion about sours now, right? You know, yeah. this is a kettle sour. And granted, it's not probably the sours you normally get, because I can tell you the first few sours that I had were just, oh my god, mm-hmm. why did you give this to me? You know, but after really focusing on trying to get a good sour, we've Pretty much define, we refined what we like, you know, yeah, and we know we, who to go for for a good sour. Yeah, Let's so put it that And then uh, we switched to the loggers, and we could have gave you a plain logger. Well, I shouldn't say plain logger either. We could have gave you just a a tasty logger, which would be like a Gillies, you know, mm. something not store bought. And I, I say that. Excuse me. Especially uh, store bought, uh, big brand store bought. Yeah. This is a lager that you would get in a specialty liquor store. Mm-hmm. But and and we honestly would have brought that into you too. But 
We wanted to give like you that much. Is that what it is? Like, I don't get. I only get. I only get four. And you can't bring in a fifth. Like, we can I ask we were friends. You. We'll I, give you. Not? We'll give you a Gillies after the show. Okay, we'll definitely fair. give you a Gillies okay. after the show. I'll take one, I'll take one to go. <laughs> but uh, we wanted to bring you in as something a little bit uh, different as far as a lager goes. Also, I'm sure you haven't had a mosaic lager. Nope. You know, in any way, and you can get this. This is San Diego, California, at North Park. This is. Literally, what, an hour down the road? If I'm driving, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to drive anywhere for you. It's a lot closer than that when I steal your uh, beer fridge. <laughs> <laughs> We're good. We brought you Russian River. Oh, my gosh. There's a, what can we say about Russian River? Are we going to change that to Freedom River? I don't know. What, is that the <laughs> hey, next, hey, the next I thing agree. we're supposed to go? I agree. I don't know what we're supposed to do. I can, I, we confused. completely agree. I did like the beer, though. The beer was fantastic. Yeah, we completely agree. And then number we gave two. you. I think that was number two for me. We gave you Big Chromatic Energy, which was Horrible our name. final beer. Great beer. And uh, that's that's that was our final beer that we thought. I personally thought that you would like the most, and it was I right? Yeah, it was fantastic. It was, that was <laughs> if, you, if you don't know, you better ask somebody. That was fantastic. That was good. Yeah, that one was So, uh, we appreciate, you know, you coming in and trying all of our beers, because uh, that's what our average Joe's about, you know. And, Thanks and for having me. Speaking was, about... I'm going to be on the next 17 shows, because you're giving me free beer. <laughs> uh, I am probably going to be wearing this next time, because I can dodge a wrench. <laughs> well, let's see. That's the next test before you're on yeah. again. After a few more of those cro magnet, whatever the hell you said it was, I can dodge anything. Now, those are going to be our TikTok reels. <laughs> we do is going to be death, dodge, yeah. dive. Dip and dodge. Yeah, we're ready. I'm ready to go. We're going to see if you can pass the test. No. Oh, and then you got to do the dodging cars, too. I can do so. that. I can do that. I'm ready. <laughs> But yeah, we're glad you had a good time on the show, and thank you again for being on here. Thanks for so, having me. Is that all you got? That's all finish I've got. Some business? That's all, all I've right. got. Just got to finish up with some business. So we want you to be on our podcast. So if you're an artist, a musician, a brewery, or just your average Joe or average Jane, we would love to have you on our show. You can showcase your talents. We can do an episode exclusive of just your beers here in the studio or out on location. Or if you're an average Joe, just like Garrett here, you can sit here and try what uh, we're trying and, <laughs> and give your input on the beers. As you can see, we've had a good time with our average Joe today. Uh, make sure you are subscribed on YouTube. That way you get notified of our weekly episodes that drop and please make sure you are following us on instagram facebook and tiktok we do five i already did it we did five uh weekly beer reviews on instagram and facebook so you might see something uh that you like and go out and try but uh let us know if you want to be on the show and uh that is all i got for this episode so as we end this class, we want you to raise your glass and cheers. Cheers. Thank cheers. you. Thanks, cheers Garrett. To See the you. Thanks Joe. for having me. Thanks for having me. See you next time. <laughs>